Welcome to the Zaleski Sports Show Highlight House. The number one ranked Edgar Wildcats traveled two hours west to Mondovi to see what the Buffaloes were all about. Catch the highlights if you can. Nothing's going to get past him there. Kick is off and we are underway. A short kick picked up at the 25-yard line by Stout, and Stout is going to go the distance, opening kick, and it's a kick return touchdown for the Edgar Wildcats, Mason Stout, and we have 11 seconds. Handoff goes to Haferman, up the middle, makes one man miss, steps to the outside, headed for the end zone, and he will be in the end zone for a touchdown. Touchdown, Edgar, Caleb, third down of the game for the Wildcats, and Reverse or counter action here, and that's number 23, Kyle Brewster. And Brewster's going to send it to the end zone and touchdown. Wildcats. Okay, Again, Edgar making it back. Shotgun formation. Well, actually, he's back out of quarterback. He gets the handoff instead. He races to the end zone for a touchdown. 15 yard touchdown. Field of Wildcats behind him to choose from. And he chooses Will Rates, and Rates is in for the touchdown. It's another Edgar Wildcat <laughs> touchdown. Came out of reach here if it's not already. It's a handoff here to Haferman. Haferman runs his way up the middle, and it's another Edgar Haferman Wildcat touchdown. Wildcat. All right, we are here post game with Coach Jerry Sins. Coach, kind of unfolded like a lot of us thought it would, but uh, start off the game with a kick return for a touchdown. You don't plan for things like that. Uh, no, no, you certainly don't, and uh, we didn't have the two-point conversion team ready, but uh, <laughs> they, they got out there and managed to execute it. Um, yeah, we were, we were pretty fortunate in the first half, other than we couldn't get our passing attack going, which uh, usually we're pretty good at. But um, obviously, it leaves us some things to work on. Um, we were happy with the effort, and uh, you know, guys are hustling good. And you know, we'll have to regroup tomorrow morning. And uh, we got a couple guys dinged up too, and you know, hopefully, we get healthy. Uh, you started out uh, the game, like I said, in, in, in a hurry. There, I got down the field right away. Uh, you mentioned the passing game; didn't have a completed pass tonight. 275 yards rushing, though, in the first half. What else can you tell us about the offensive performance tonight? Yeah, normally, of course, we were, we were going to pass well. Um, last week, I think we were six out of ten or whatever. We only threw ten, but um, yeah, we, I, I think we we're going to have a pretty good passing attack. We, I think our quarterback was a little too jacked up tonight. It reminds me of Brett Favre back in the old days, you know. Be so fired up, he's over shooting guys when they're open, but we'll get that squared away. <laughs> All right, and now you got an extra day to prepare for Tomahawk next week. Uh, take us through the game plan and what you know about Tomahawk. Well, Tomahawk is, is you know, a good size school. There are about 400 kids. Um, they'll be coming down to our place. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. haven't looked at them at all yet, but I'm, a, I'm sure it'll be fun. I think it's our alumni night or something like that, so we'll have a bunch of guys from other teams back. Before we get to what turned out to be the first play of the game, which was an 11-second uh, kick return for a touchdown, just talk about uh, the game overall, how you felt now. You start, you start 2-0. and Just thoughts on tonight's game. Oh, we had a couple. We had our ups and downs. We have things to work on, but overall, I think we did pretty good tonight. Uh, defensive effort, uh, Mondovi didn't score uh, until the third quarter, uh, and they came out of the locker room kind of like a herd of Buffaloes, really. I mean, they had some good momentum there. Just talk about the defensive performance, only giving up three points tonight. I think it was pretty good. We have, a, I guess, a couple of plays to work on. That long run got sucked in a little bit. But overall, I think we did good. Okay. Good. All right, now let's go back to the start of the game, right? So so here we are, week two, we're Thursday night football. Uh, you, a couple of your teammates back there to return the kick. It bounces, you pick it up. What happens next? Uh, I just run to the end zone. All of my blockers, they blocked for me. I had a really good block. So you just find the hole and run. You are watching Wisconsin Sports Leader. You are watching the Zaleski Sports Show. Hey, Lighthouse! I'm in the house! v &H Automotive serves Marshfield and Central Wisconsin with new Ford, Lincoln, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, and Ram trucks. Our professional staff of factory-trained sales associates and parts and service personnel are here to serve you. Our business managers use more than a dozen lenders to ensure you the lowest rates anywhere. From Marshfield to Wausau, Wisconsin Rapids to Stevens Point, or Colby to Medford, we are a short drive from anywhere for friendly service and very competitive pricing. Come see V&H Automotive today.